Alex Jones and Joe Walsh, two radio hosts, conservatives. One is a conspiracy and libertarian guy, that's Alex Jones, and the other is just your mainstream right-wing douche. But they're going to try to argue here a point that I honestly thought was inarguable. They're going to say that, no, no, forget everything he said, Cliven Bundy is, in fact, not racist. Nevada cattle rancher Cliven Bundy responds to claims made by the New York Times that he is a racist. And of course, anyone that doesn't like the government's racist now, he is kind of a fossil too. Seventh generation, middle of the desert. You know, it was the it was the Negro Leagues was the name of it back in the 20s and 30s and 40s. And then, in, then you're supposed to say colored, then African-American. You know, I just say black folks or white folks or just people. But this is the obsession with words, and they're using that to make a big deal out of it. But let me tell you, that's how old people talk. Jason Bullock, who just so happens to be an American who has more melanin in his skin than I do, is black. And I wanted to, I don't know what he's going to say. We're getting him on. What is your take on this new controversy? Uh, and where do you think this is all going? And have you caught Cliven wearing any white hoods, sir? I've never seen uh, Mr. Bundy wear a white hood at all. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> I can assure you that uh, this man is not racist. He's the, he's the uh, nicest most kind-hearted man that I've met. So Cliven Bundy, our Nevada rancher, wondered out loud. He opined out loud. He asked a question. I just hate the way black America's living today. I wonder, were they better off as slaves? Were they better off picking cotton? They're just sitting around today in too many of our big cities. The New York Times breaks this story yesterday. The media pounces racism he is a racist he's a racist and that has been all over the tv the internet and the radio today and politicians all of these brave politicians who stood by clive and bundy's side as he fought his federal government man like cowards like fleas they're running for the hills because clive and bundy Maybe he made the mistake, made the mistake of just sort of weighing in on the state of black America today. Let me be clear about a couple of things, and I have waited purposely before weighing in. What Cliven Bundy said right there is not racist. You want to know what's racist? It's not what Cliven Bundy said. No, what's racist is the state of black America today. What is racist is what Democrats and liberals have done to black America today, forcing them to be dependent upon government. That's racist. I'm fucking speechless, man. I'm fucking... It I get surprised every single day. My job is to cover these fucking lunatics. And every day they manage to surprise me. Okay, put, put all what they said outside of your head. Just as a, a, whoever you are, whether you're black, white, Asian, male, female, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Let me read you his quote verbatim. This is what Cliven Bundy said. Is it racist or is it not racist? Quote, I want to tell you one more thing about the Negro. They abort their young children. They put their young men in jail because they never learned how to pick cotton. And I've always wondered, are they better off as slaves? If that's not racist, if you can't say that's racist, then it's official. There is nothing to you that is racist. There could be a situation where there is actual slavery of white people owning black people, and you would say, oh, racist? Why? Why is it racist? Just because a white person's owning a black person and keeping them down as a second-class citizen and raping their wives and, and uh, whipping them on the back and taking away their freedom? What are you talking? Oh, you think that's racist? How irrational are you? No, no, no. How irrational are you? He's asking if blacks are better off as slaves, and you're saying it's not racist? That is fucking insanity. That may legitimately be the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my entire life. Like, no, no, it just, the fucking elevator's just not going to the top floor for these guys. There's no question about, no, no, no. They're clearly working backwards from their, 
from their conclusion. And their conclusion is Cliven Bundy's a good guy and he's not racist and he's right. They're just working backwards from there, disregarding all of the evidence. That's one of the most racist fucking things I've ever heard in my life. Just what I'm just saying, blacks might be better off as slaves, I'm just saying. If you don't think that's racist, it, there, to you, there's, there's nothing that's racist. N absolutely. Somebody could be screaming nigger and about to lynch a group of black people, and you'd go, Oh, are you saying it's racist just because we're screaming nigger and about to lynch black people? Oh, you're so irrational. And also, by the way, with your stupid fucking fake bravado Joe Walsh, you're not fooling anybody. It looks fake. It looks like you're putting on an act with your radio show. Like the way you're talking and the, your body motions and stuff. You're just, you look silly, man. Tone it down. Even Sean Hannity, of all people, a guy who has never backed down from anything in his life, if somebody calls him out on something, he doubles down and triples down and quadruples down. Even Hannity came out and said, those comments are racist and this is beyond repugnant. That's a quote, beyond repugnant. But Alex Jones says, oh, anyone that doesn't like the government is now is racist. No, you idiot. You can believe in small government and not be racist. The thing that's racist is calling black people Negroes and saying, maybe they're better off as slaves. That's fucking racist, saying, well, they should learn how to pick cotton. Oh, my God. I'm getting worked up, and I don't even know why. I know these guys are stupid, but it just bother bothers me to no end. And then, uh, I, love, I love this excuse. That's how old people talk. What? Old people say Negro, and they wonder if blacks are better off as slaves. That's what they do. That doesn't mean they're racist. That's exactly what it means. That's exactly what it means. And then the classic right-wing move. That's my favorite because it's the cheapest move and it's the most transparent thing you could ever do. We want to get away with doing a racist segment. So just bring on a black guy who says, it's okay, he's not racist, you're not racist. That's all you got to do. The black guy gives you cover. This is the oldest Hannity trick in the book. He brings on black people to say, man, black people really got to get their shit together. Man, black people are really inferior to white people. You know what I'm saying, Sean? Oh, hey, that's an okay point. I didn't say it. You said it. Wink, 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 wink. That's what you do. So Alex Jones brings on a black guy who's the bodyguard for Clive and Bundy. So, gee, I wonder what the guy's going to say. Is he going to say, oh, no, this guy's racist. Clive and Bundy's paying him money. He has a financial interest to say, no, of course he's not racist. And he also, later on uh, in the conversation, the black guy goes, oh, when this uh, sc scandal broke, they came to me right away and said, we need you to talk and say Cliven's not racist. But he said it like it was like, oh, I'll be happy to do it. He, w he didn't even realize that he was like letting the cat out of the bag and letting everybody know like, obviously they were scrambling to find cover to be like, see, we, we have a black friend. We know a black guy, so not racist. And then Joel Walsh. He's just asking a question. He's just, what's the problem? He's just asking a question. Could you imagine? Just, <laughs> it's so obviously racist, but just to use another example, this is like somebody saying, well, my opinion is that women are inferior and they should just be in the kitchen 24-7 and not have another option. Shouldn't they be like that? And shouldn't they only be in the kitchen? What, I'm just asking questions? Oh, are you saying that's sexist? It's not sexist. I'm just asking questions. It's another one of the oldest tricks in the book. Pose it as a question so you get away with driving home the point without just flat out saying it. And then, I mean, come on, man. Blacks are just sitting around. Walsh is being racist himself without even realizing he's being racist. Because he's like, what? All he's doing is pointing out the fact that black people are just sitting around. It's the idea of, all oh, these welfare queens. This is all the black people do. They're just welfare queens. They just you take money from the government and that's it. Meanwhile, the irony is, of course, Cliven Bundy is not paying his fucking fees to the government that he owes them that every other rancher pays, so he's a moocher and he's a parasite. And also, white people use welfare more than black people. That's a fact. And also, Joe Walsh, what happened to, oh, so taking money from the government, all of a sudden that makes you lazy and you're just sitting around? So I guess all those assholes on Wall Street are just sitting around, right? taking the bailout money and then paying out bonuses and buying new corporate jets and remodeling their offices. Who gets a bonus after you bankrupted your company and you're getting a bonus from hardworking middle-class taxpayers? You're getting their money. But Joe Walsh has nothing to say about that. He's got nothing to say about the welfare queens of Raytheon and Boeing and all the defense contractors who loot the treasury on a daily basis. Nothing to say about ExxonMobil who takes a $4 billion subsidy every year, even though they're one of the most profitable corporations in the country. Nothing to say about Walmart that takes billions of dollars. They're, they're the biggest welfare queens in the country. But as long as you're white and as long as you're part of the establishment, well, then you're not lazy. Then you're not taking a subsidy, even though you're taking much bigger subsidies than black people. And the final thing I'll say when Walsh makes the point, like, oh, what's racist is these Democrats. 
having good policies, like, right, yeah, the social safety net is so racist. Giving people a dollar and thirty cents a meal so that their kids don't fucking starve. If you think that's racist, you have some fucking problems in your head, son. Okay, I don't know what it is, the synapses aren't firing, the neurons aren't working, whatever it is, but if you can point at food stamps, if you can point at other social safety net programs, WIC, for example, for new mothers, if you could point at Medicaid, which is healthcare for people who make like $12,000 a year, if you point at that and say, that's a problem, I want to take that away, what you're saying is, I want people to starve and die in the street, and I want to put my middle finger up to anybody who's not already wealthy. So, essentially what he's saying is, helping out people who need help, that's, uh, that's racist. How do you even respond to that? 